So what do you need to do to really engage your sales managers to be part and engaged in your sales onboarding program? Now let's be realistic. Some reps are gonna ramp slower than others. Some are just gonna knock it out of the park. Each rep is probably doing things a little bit differently, not necessarily as consistent as you would like them to do. So what are things that you could be doing to really get your managers involved and ensure they're coaching and participating to keep this experience consistent. Imagine if all of your sales leaders were completely bought in to the sales onboarding program that you've dreamt up. Imagine if they were completely on board and when they left your onboarding program that you knew that the follow-up was there, the accountability was there, and the consistency was there across all of your sales managers. Sound realistic? Maybe, maybe not, but I wanna give you a couple tips that really can help drive this forward. I remember actually early in my career, quick story was I was on the sales floor and a new rep just came back from, from the boot camp. They went to head office, came back and not a joke, the sales manager kind of pulled this new rep over and said, hey, I'm glad you're back. Hope you had a great trip. Hope you enjoyed all the things you got to do at head office. Let me sit down with you now and tell you how this job works in the real world. As if the onboarding didn't even matter. It wasn't even, forget accountability. There was no alignment, not even taking it seriously. It was as if the rep was away on a vacation of some sort, and now the sales manager was gonna teach them exactly what they needed to do. Let's not have that happen for your sales onboarding. I'm gonna walk you through a framework that's gonna help you after this video, start getting your managers completely aligned with how your onboarding is meant to drive the outcomes everybody wants. Okay, so let me run you through this framework. It's called the Manager Engagement Pyramid. The Manager Engagement Pyramid. So, as it sounds, I'm gonna draw this pyramid here, and the foundation, so right here at the bottom, we've got an alignment on metrics. So it's kind of like the what metrics are important to the managers what they want right when people are coming through their onboarding program get the managers aligned so that the program ultimately is going to drive those metrics these are the targets that you want your reps driving the next layer up and that's the foundation without an alignment along the metrics you want to drive the pyramid falls so that's the bottom here is this alignment on metrics the second thing here on top of that is having a mutual plan such that the managers and yourself agree on the milestones that the, the reps need to hit in order to get to these specific metrics to drive the outcomes you want. And then on top of that, the next layer here is the content buy-in. And you want the managers to see the content, buy into it, really see that the training that's surrounding it are going to be relevant to everything that they're gonna be doing following the onboarding that they've been part of. And you also wanna get them totally excited about it. So position it such that it's gonna make them as managers, gonna make their jobs easier. So here you have it, this is content, and always be selling. You have to be explaining to the managers as you're working through it with them, here's how this content is gonna drive the metrics that we've agreed on and make your life easier as a manager as you need to ramp these new reps. The next level here is gonna be having a scorecard. So what you need is for the managers to come together and just create a consistent set of attributes or criteria that you want the reps driving towards. So uh, it could be for different coaching sessions, if they're doing coaching sessions, if you're getting people practicing how they're doing uh, phone calls or whatever it is, have a consistency around a scorecard such that everyone is pushing the same message. And then the final thing, and this, I mean, this applies to everything, is having a review. You wanna have a regular review with the managers such that they see how this is moving into play, how their efforts are going, and how all of their reps are ramping. Unfortunately, there are so many sales enablers and ops people that think they can build a program on their own. It's so busy, it's hard to get everyone's attention, but don't go at this alone. It's essential not only to have the sales managers completely involved in whatever program you're developing, but also the art of it all is really making the sales managers feel like it's them that built it. 
they're the ones that came up with this master plan and you are purely on the implementation side. Everyone knows the best idea is someone else's or their own rather. So let's take it from there and keep pushing that forward. Okay, so if you're struggling with getting your sales managers to stick to the plan, the key is to get them focused and get them aligned and bought into what it is that you wanna be doing. So have a mutual plan towards the metrics that you all agree that you wanna drive. Get them super excited about the content and the training that you're building that's giving them their feedback. Have them input on what type of scorecard you want reps being ranked on. And then most importantly, review and iterate often. Check in with these managers, ask them how it's going, and ask them areas you can improve to just make this onboarding that much better and productive for both yourself, the manager, and most importantly, getting that new hire to where they need to be. Feel free to reach out if you have any questions. Feel free to add any comments in the section underneath here and subscribe to our YouTube channel. See you next time.